Hello, welcome back to Perk Industries. Yes. Perk. Today I want to talk about an old project that's now a new project that's now finished. Uh, about two years ago um, I spent some time experimenting with one of my favourite IC microchips, the PT2399 Classic Delay Reverb Echo chip that uh, is in all sorts of guitar pedals um, across the board including a lot that you can buy um, from you know renowned delay uh, pedal manufacturers uh, it's commonplace it's used in surround sound circuits to provide that slight delay to the rear speakers um, and it's a good old uh, sturdy IC um, I didn't want to build a circuit that was just a simple delay um, I wanted to try and find something that I could um, make a bit more interesting possibly the idea of uh, a sort of feedback loop that goes back into it so I started looking around for some starting points and uh, I found this circuit and this circuit is uh, called Noise Ensemble and um, it is um, available online and the uh, image I'm showing you now is uh, a variable version of that which I took, I adapted um, largely speaking to alter some of the capacitor values and put more emphasis on um, the point for shambles which you'll see there which is um, a 22k pot and with this I then decided that yeah it was quite successful it made some quite cool noises and it did indeed feed back but what I didn't expect was when I added um, a ground um, that ground actually became an antenna and so on my version of the circuit, which you'll see here boxed up, there is a screw here at the front which acts as a sort of antenna. In a weird way, uh, it's not quite like a theremin, but it does respond to proximity to the screw, so it does react a bit like an antenna. Um, so that proximity vibe gives it uh, yeah, a whole other dimension. The shambles dial is this one here and the other one is uh, a simple volume. So those two can work together. I put it with a jack out so that I could then easily pop it into other different pedals as you will see later. Uh, that was the first part of the circuit. The second part is given away by this here. This is a bar graph driver. And what I decided to do more for a sort of visual thing than anything else would be to have a look at a different IC, the LM3914. Simple bar graph driver that drives uh, up to 10 LEDs. Uh, I got myself one of those uh, LED enclosures, the arrays of 10. And quite simply, the input into the LM3914. 3914 is the output from uh, the delay circuit. So as the delay is um, audible, you can hear it, you can also then get a visual representation across the BioGrive driver, which also goes a bit mental when you plug it in. So I worked um, pretty much more off than on on this over the course of the two years. Uh, I didn't spend two years making it, uh, but decided to revisit it with a bit more time on my hands at the moment. Um, when it's boxed up, it looks really cool, actually. I laser cut a uh, front panel from MDF, and there's some etchings that I don't think you're going to be able to necessarily see on the front there, but some circular etchings on the front. These lovely um, brass corners that I bought from uh, eBay in China, and some classic Bakelite-looking uh, knobs on the front. Uh, sticking with my recent theme of going with a lot of USB-powered things, this only needs uh, yeah four and a half volts. So um, we decided to go with USB to power it, which makes things simple with our new uh, modular system. Look at the old videos for that. Um, so the whole thing uh, came together kind of well. It does obviously noise quite happily. It's pleased to do noise. Um, put it through some pedals, it makes extra noise, um, noise on its own, don't get me wrong, but it also does other things. Um, I ran it through dry, or yeah, without any pedals to start off with, or without any effects, uh, played it with uh, some nasty industrial sound and beats, and then went the other way and tried to see if we could make it sound nice, sort of self-generating, whether it would work through sort of tones and drones. And then the big question, does it ambient? And we will have answers to all those questions with some of the demos that are coming up now. <laughs> 